Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris back with a, an exciting video here. Um, today we're going to be going over the Honor 7X and um, there has been a custom ROM, an AOSP 8.0 um, just base beta ROM out for the Honor 7X and I will be showing you how to install that um, which will also include um, unlocking the bootloader as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. There are a few things you are going to need first and that is to ensure that you have ADB and Fastboot set up. Um, I enjoy using uh, minimal ADB and I've never had any issues. Um, I'll leave, leave the links down here in the description where you can uh, get those and install them. Um, next we're going to need on your uh, Honor 7X. All right, let's go into settings here. Go down to about phone and then we're going to go ahead and tap on build number about seven times until you get the uh, developer options. Go into developer options and then you're going to go and make sure that we have OEM unlocking checked. Go ahead and enter your passcode. So now OEM unlocking is checked. And then you're going to go down and turn on USB debugging as well. Next is we're going to, um, here is the guide which you can follow along um, in regards to uh, XTA, how to unlock the bootloader, um, which this is a good reference as well. You're going to need to then create an account on this Huawei page basically so that way um, you can get a password passcode to uh, use to unlock the bootloader. Um, so you're going to need that and then follow the information as far as filling out uh, the uh, serial number, um, basically the build of the phone, um, and then also you're going to need the device ID which you will need. Um, basically it'll tell you in the instructions on how to uh, uh, get that device ID. So next we're going to need to go ahead and uh, plug your phone in. Make sure your phone is currently uh, charged at least a good decent over 50% I would say. We're going to go ahead and go to the minimal ADB fastboot um, directory where that has that set up. Um, we're going to go ahead and open a command prompt in that folder here. Um, so now we need to go ahead and type in ADB devices to start the ADB port. Here is our device. Perfect. That's what we want. So now what we are going to go ahead and do is actually boot your phone into fastboot. That way we can interact and unlock the bootloader. Let's go ahead and do that. So ADB reboot bootloader. So what you need to do is then the the password code that you received from this uh, this page here. Um, you need to go ahead and type in fastboot OEM unlock and then paste the password code into this section after the unlock, which will then basically um, give the password and access for you to unlock the bootloader. It'll then basically tell you that it's going to wipe your phone um, when you unlock the bootloader, that always happens. So just be aware to back up your information. So go ahead and do that. And then the uh, next step is once the bootloader is unlocked is to install a custom recovery. So we'll get into that in just a second. All right, so this device I already have as a uh, um, bootloader already unlocked. So we're going to go ahead and just real quick boot that into uh, fast boot mode so that way I can show you from here on out. Um, in this uh, post they do also have in the download section you're going to want to go ahead and just open this link which then you're going to need to download the ROM and the uh, custom recovery image as well for TWRP and then you're also going to want to download open gaps as well. Since this is an 8.0 based ROM, go ahead and download. It is a 64-bit processor, so ARM64, 8.0, and then stock to get the full Google Apps. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is hold down volume down and power button to boot into fast boot. All right, so we are in uh, fast boot. This device already has the bootloader unlocked, as we can see there. And now to make sure that our device is recognized, fast boot devices, since we are in fast boot, and we can see here's the fast boot device. So perfect. Now what we're going to need to do is actually flash the uh, TWRP recovery. So we're going to go ahead and do fast boot 
flash recovery and then you can rename the image anything that you want. Um, at the moment I just have it recovery 7x dot image so recovery 7x dot image and then you're also want to do fast boot flash recovery 2 and then recovery 7x dot image that way it flashes to both recovery partitions that way you don't run into any issues all right then what you're gonna have to go ahead and do is uh, just go ahead and do fast boot reboot the phone is going to reboot and then once the phone boots up we'll go ahead and just uh, turn off the phone so then boot into custom recovery hold down the volume up and the power button at the same time and just keep pressing and holding let go of the power button just keep pressing and holding the volume up button and then you'll be booted into TWRP recovery so next step is we're going to need to wipe the phone and basically remove the the encryption on the phone itself um, and in the post it does give you the instructions so we can see here um, we need to obviously download the ROM uh, we need to wipe data so go to wipe and then don't swipe we need to click on format data this is going to wipe everything that's on your phone internally and remove encryption then what you'll do is go ahead and copy and paste over the ROM and your open gaps over to your device and that is recognized here as you can see and there is a micro SD card so don't worry about that um, you'll just go ahead and paste the uh, the ROM and gaps into whichever folder directory you want there then we'll go ahead and go to install and we will go ahead and select the open cure and ROM there and um, this is the first initial release that may have one up um, in the next couple days depending on when you watch this who knows um, go ahead and let that flash and install I found um, when I first installed it that the uh, uh, setup wizard did not function properly it kept force closing so I just rebooted the phone after the initial install um, and then um, and then I booted back into recovery and then installed the open gaps at that point and then um, it was successful so we can go into uh, just reboot now to ins uh, boot into the operating system and then you can always I uh, haven't tested if magisk root works yet on this um, but uh, stay tuned for that but this again this is beta so if something doesn't go right um, that's the reason why but huge shout out and thanks to the Open Kieran team um, for XE Politio for posting this up. Um, initial, you do get this Android system. There's an internal problem with the device. Um, you can just dismiss that as well. Um, also, it looks like there is no support for micro SD card, or at least for this device. Maybe the format isn't right, who knows. Um, but we can see here, um, here are open gaps that are installed camera doesn't work so um, don't don't freak out this is a very beta build um, Bluetooth is not working um, fingerprint scanner works actually though as you can see there and then if we go into settings about phone we can see AOSP 8.0 December security patch um, so you have all your standard settings for Oreo and the like at the moment voice over LTE doesn't work so definitely um, very first uh, first stages of this but uh, a great start for potential uh, future development for the Honor 7X um, and I will definitely keep everyone posted for ROMs and things like that so stay tuned thanks everyone for watching if you guys have questions comment down below Check out uh, the links in the description to access all this, uh, these threads. And um, hope everyone is able to enjoy custom ROMs in the future. And also for the uh, Honor View 10, they will, um, Honor has the open source program, so hopefully more ROMs will be even developed for that later on. Thanks again for watching. Take care, everyone.